What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Zulo back with another guide in Absolver. Today we are going to be going over how to get your first cape as well as maximizing essence production in game. Without further ado, let's get this thing started. If you want to skip the cape location, go to this timestamp. After defeating all of the marked ones, you will finally have access to the essence mines. Once you enter the mines, you will now be able to finally pick up the infamous cape and gaze upon its majestic glory. Of course, you can dye the cape to the color of your choice once attained, but let's just show you how to get it. You enter the cave, go to the first donut in the sky, then run off the edge towards the pillar and land on the platform below. Once you turn around, you will have found the essence cape. As you climb your way through the trials of Adele, you will quickly come to the conclusion that you don't have all that much essence and that it is a very beneficial tool in attaining some of the coolest and best gear in the game. But then the only question is to ask, what is the most productive way to gather the most resources for attaining these items? So I decided to try all the best methods for getting said essence. I went to the essence mines, I did combat trials, and I also did raw boss fights, each for an hour to give them a quote unquote fair squeeze so to speak. As a disclaimer, I will say my record in the total given fights and say I'm about an average player as far as 1v1s go. The rounds for combat trials were 59 rounds in 1 hour with a total of 45 wins. After scrapping all of the items, also if I scrapped my oration mask, which I didn't, it would have left me with a total profit of 779 essence in the hour that I grinded there, starting off with 2581 essence and ending with 3360. You may see different results as it is all just roll chances on items so best of luck. From there I decided to try and grind out an hour at the essence mines themselves, as I remember reading something somewhere that said it was an awesome place to farm at if you didn't want to go the pvp route and play 1v1s all day. Admittedly the camera can be awful so it can be somewhat troublesome to fight here at times and fall damage is also a thing. That being said I didn't find it to be all that profitable. After an hour of grinding in the essence mines, I gathered a total profit of 321 essence, as a lot of drops are essence items which are worth very little. From the essence mines, I decided to go to a boss fight and attempt to farm a boss for an hour straight and see what the drops would be like. I decided the best boss fight to choose would be Dormic, if you can call him a boss. He's a marked one, let's just call him that. Anyways, after fighting him for one or three too many times, I realized he is fairly easy to defeat as Fenting will be your friend during these fights, and also killing the weaker mobs, if they just so happen to spawn there again. All you do is take down Dormic and his buds, run up the bridge, pray at the altar, and run back to Dormic. Then lather and repeat. After defeating Dormic for who knows how many times, I ended up with a total profit of 667 essence. This is due to the fact that Dormic will sometimes drop the Terracotta Mask, which is a drop at a guaranteed value of 100 essence. 